So hello and this is the lift I've been making earlier on and if you haven't looked it please look at the quad deco elevator part one video because that shows you how to make this first part here. So to begin with part two we now have to go all the way to the top and place a big loop going round here like this. Destroy that one and place something like that. Destroy the rest of the blocks and then do the same. So it's 13. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There should be only a one block gap between them. That's very good if there isn't a one block gap, map, there is definitely something wrong with the construction matters. So now, as always, there we go. We just place a block at the top and bottom of here. Let's switch this one off for now. This bugging me slightly. Slightly. We also need to place them here and there. So now we've done that, if you don't know what that whirring noise is, that is just my stupid fan. It's so noisy, puts me off a lot in my recording. So sorry about that weird whirring noise, I'm having to speak up a little bit here so we can hear it through the mic. <laughs> but anyway, you know the drill. Whoops. Don't be worried if, they, if you hear this noise when you play this. Don't be worried if you hear that ridiculous noise. Might be a bit off putting. But all it is is the trapdoors activating as you place the observer here. So. Yeah. So what I'll do now is I will cut ahead in the video until we are totally done. Okay, so on the last one you shouldn't hear the noise. Yep, you do not hear the noise and should be just like this at this moment in time. So just bear that in mind for now. Firstly you need to check when this is down, that is off. That's the same thing that we need to do with up there. So down equals off. So if it's down equals off, if down is off, you place it on the observer. If down is on, place it on the piston but in my case down is off so place it just like this so yep we're just building it up and as always I will cut ahead until this part is done okay so now we're done with that all you need to do again is test it out and when you flick the lever it should and that and it should yes go back down. Firstly make sure there's a block here, there's no block here. Yep. And when we flick this firstly you have to make sure that lever is is down. Or just make sure that all of the redstone torches on this side are off. Well, the ones which will power these. So they're the ones next to the sticky piston. So, firstly, make sure they're off. So, secondly, and we may get to daytime if you don't know how to do this. Let's 
getting a bit confused. Getting confused. There. You can click the slash, go down to time, and set it to day if you're in cheat mode. Then we activate it. Not. Okay, that's right. <laughs> that observer was the wrong way round. Make sure it goes in this U shape as well. And look, just going down. And it should stop just there. So it should be back in this state now. Now you've done that, I'm just making sure that when you stand here, you could reach a button there. So we have to place the button just about there. Yep, I can reach that from inside the cab. Yep, that is very reachable. You have to then make it so it goes off slightly. Maybe I'll move it back a little bit actually. So we're just building these little squares. These are going to be the entrances and exits. Let's switch this off just for now. And yeah, we're just doing it for these ones down here at the moment. There. Now that is done, we now place a button here and there. Same case on every single side. This side, we make an observer coming out of here and make it come out there. We also make one here and there. Then, what we have to do is place redstone on all of these. If these are activated, you've done something wrong. The, these, if they were on, could be slightly repositioned, so it would then be powering. So the reds and torch would then be powering that. Okay, now we've done that. The next thing we do, now you're going to have to make this a redstone lion if you're on Java. So I'm sorry about that, that's going to increase this part by just one block. But if you're on bedrock edition like I am, there's no need for that whatsoever. And this does work on all the platforms as well. It also doesn't generate any lag, which is surprising because of how this works. So then we just make this going up. Doesn't matter if these are powered. And then we place redstone dust just about there. Just about there. Then two pistons in this formation here we're going to have to make this curve round a bit Wait. so we're just making it curve round round there 
Now that should power that. And place redstone there. The redstone block here, in fact. And then we place sticky pistons going all the way down from here. And yeah, that should be done. In no time whatsoever. As you could see just there. Right now I'm just making this to make it so when I destroy that I can then place it there and there's no stops there. So now we have this and every time we press one of these buttons we should get an output. And I said and I said we should. So we get into it, hit the button, and yeah, we go up. Yep. So firstly, we're going to need to build an XY platform there as well. Then the holes just carry on as usual. And as you can see, that has worked perfectly. So apparently now I'm going to have to make a part three. That's what my dad said because this video has been a bit too long. So just for now, I'll see you all later in part three where we create the rest of this lift. So bye.